Hello, this is McD the Beast, and this is McD Sports 4 coming to you today with my NFL picks for week 4. Our record is 26 and 21. I want to do a little bit better than that, but let's get into it. Um, Thursday night game, I know I'm coming with these kind of late. Uh, the Thursday night game kicks off about 30 minutes from uh, me filming this video, maybe a little bit more. Dolphins versus Bengals. Uh, Dolphins are a good team. Uh, offensively, I think they can hang with anybody. This defense is better than what I thought it was. But I think the Bengals at home, Thursday night football, I think they find a way to win this game. I think it's a little bit high scoring. 34-30 Bengals is the score I have. I just think the Bengals find a way to win the game. Now to the uh, Sunday games. Our first game in London. Uh, Vikings, Saints. Give me the Vikings. Saints look like one of the worst teams in the NFL. They have a coach in Dennis Allen, which is a failed head coach. It looks like he might fail again. Um, Jameis Winston has played a horrible outside the first game this season. Vikings, I think, are the overall the better team. Go ahead, give me the Vikings. I'll take them to win in London. Rear game, because I always try to pick rear games in London. Um, I'll go ahead and take uh, the Vikings here. I'll go 30 to 15 Vikings. Next game, Browns Falcons. Give me the Browns. They're just a bit more talented than the Falcons. I think it's a close game, though. I'll go ahead and take the Browns 27-21, but I'll, the Browns are just a little bit more talented than the Falcons. I'll go ahead and take the Browns. Commanders versus Cowboys. I'm going to pick the hot hand and pick the Cowboys here. The Commanders, I don't think, are that good of a team. You look at the Cowboys. Yeah, they're running out Cooper Rush, but he's looking pretty good, Cooper Rush. So I'll go ahead and take the Cowboys. And you know what? I'll say this is a two-possession game. I'll go ahead and take the Cowboys 31-17. Seahawks-Lions. I'm going to say the Lions find a way to win the game. Uh, I was pretty disappointed that Seattle did not find a way to beat the Falcons last week. I think that continues for Seattle. I know. I mean, let's be real. It's not that good of a roster. Detroit, I think, is a little bit better than that win and two record. He probably should have beat the Vikings if we're being serious. So I'll go ahead and I'll take the Lions to win this game. Um. I got the Lions going ahead and winning this game 27-20. Next game, Titans-Colts. Um, listen, I am a Tennessee Titans fan. I don't care. I'm picking the Colts. I know the Titans have won in Indy the past few years. I'm sure that's on the Colts' mind. Also, I just think the Colts are, are overall a better team. Coming off a big win against the Chiefs. I know you could be in for a huge letdown. But I think the Colts get the job done against the Titans. A Titans team that I am not... Very high on it all as a Titans fan. I said I thought this was a bit of a retooling year. Um, and I thought, especially against the Bills, I thought it was proven. They found a way to beat the Raiders. I'm happy about that. Um, there's actually a worse team than the Titans. I still think the Titans are not that good of a team. But I'll take the Colts in this one. Physical game, 23-17 Colts. Next game, Bears-Giants. I think the Giants bounce back. I know the Bears are playing a little bit better than expected. Uh, this season, but with it being in New York, I think there's some hope around this Giants team. I do think do, uh, Brian Dable, I said that was a good hire, and so far it's looking like it is. Um, and I think there's some hope around this team. I'll go ahead and take the Giants 24-20. I think they find a way to win this one. Jaguars, Eagles. Um, let me be honest with saying this. Jaguars look like the best team in the AFC South. I originally said the Texans. It's the Jaguars. That was the most dominant win I've seen from the Jacksonville Jaguars in a very long time. Probably at least since the 2017 one-year runder uh, Jaguars. I call them the one-year runder because they were good one year and then they crapped. The, and then, but before that, they were bad. And after that, they were bad. But um, probably the most dominant, dominant performance since then. Uh, since that year, honestly, for the Jaguars. Um and I, I think it was more dominant than the performance against the Colts. With that being said, though, I'm going to take the Eagles at home. The roster's just better. Uh, I know it's Doug Pearson coming back into Philly. Um, I get that. But I'm going to say the Eagles find a way to win this game. 30-27 to 27 Eagles. But keep an eye on the Jaguars this season. Jets-Steelers. I'm going to say the Steelers find a way to win this game. I don't think the Jets are horrible. I know they're running out Joe Flacco. I think Zach Wilson is cleared, though, so I think he is going to give it a go this game. But I just believe in the Steelers. I believe in Tomlin. I think he'll find a way to win this game. 24-21 Steelers. Bills-Ravens. This is going to be a slugfest because it's going to be a rain. A lot of the games on the East Coast, especially the more south you get, 
into uh, Carolina, um, the Commanders game, even though I think that's in Dallas. Maybe the Steelers game a little bit. Definitely the Ravens game, though. It's going to be it's the reminiscences of Hurricane Eon. And by the way, if you're down in Florida, prayers go out to you with uh, Hurricane Eon. That was a devastating uh, hurricane that came through there. It looks like it's going to come through the Carolinas some and Baltimore. Um, it's going to be raining during this game. Um, probably a bit windy as well, but I'm going to say the Bills are overall the better roster and get the win against the Ravens. They'll hit a, a, a pass or two, and that will be the difference. Uh, I'll go rear scoring game, 23 to 18 Bills. And by the way, just a little FYI for everybody, I am not sold on this Ravens defense at all. I, I had them in my fantasy league. Um for my defense, and I actually dropped them for the Colts defense uh, because that's how much I'm not sold on them. So go ahead and give me the Bills 23-18. to 18. Chargers, Texans, I don't know where you go if you're the Chargers. You got absolutely embarrassed um, at home by a Jaguars team that, to be honest, you're a lot more talented than. The Texans are a team that's going to be physical. They're going to be – They're going. it's going to be a physical game. I want to tell you right now, it would not surprise me if the Chargers go into Houston and lose that game and lose. It just won't. And you know what? I think they do. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pick the Texans. I think I don't. Th I think the Texans are better than the 0-2 and one record. I do. I'll go ahead and take the Texans in this one. As I said, I'll take them uh, to win this game. I'll go 23-20 uh, Texans. Cardinals, Panthers, as I said about the Ravens game, it's going to be raining during this game. Um, I still going to pick the Cardinals, though. I'm not really sold on the Cardinals, per se. I think they'd just be a really bad Raiders team, if you want my honest opinion. But um, I do think they'll find a way to go into Carolina and win. Close game, it'll be, a, as I said, it's going to be raining. It's going to be more windy down there as well in Charlotte. But I'll go ahead and take the uh, Cardinals in this one. Low scoring, we'll go 21-14 Cardinals. Patriots, Packers, I don't know if Mac Jones is going to play. I know Belichick is saying he's day-to-day. -day. It looks like he might be out for, for a few weeks. Is Brian Hoyer still the backup there? Um, or is it um, Jared Stidham I, or Trace McSorr? No, no, Jared Stidham. Is this J Jared Stidham, is he the backup there? I, I don't know. Packers are going to take care of business here. This is going to get ugly, I think. 27 to seven Packers. Broncos, Raiders. I know the Broncos have been kind of um they, they've been kind of a rear team this year, not really running every, anybody out the building. But I think that changes. I think the Raiders are a horrible team. I, I just do. I think they have a horrible coach. I think they have when I shouldn't say a horrible coach. I think they have a horrible head coach. I don't think they have the quarterback. I think the Broncos win this game. I actually think they win in convincing fashion. 34-17 Broncos. Cheese Bucks. Um, this is the Sunday night game here. Um, man, the Chiefs are coming off an ugly loss against the Colts. The Bucks are coming off an ugly loss against the Packers. This game is going to be in Tampa. I know there was discussions about moving out of Minneapolis, but um, it's going to be in Tampa. The Hurricane, uh, they said it was going to hit Tampa pretty bad, but it looks like it was kind of like a tropical storm there in Tampa. Maybe a cat one more. Uh, field there in Tampa. I think the Chiefs come back strong, and I think they get the win. Bucks are going to get some stops defensively in this one, but the offense for the Bucks. I hate saying this with Tom Brady as quarterback. I th I don't think that it's the same as last year. I know uh, Mike Evans is coming off his suspension, but I don't know. I I think this is a tight game, 27-24 Chiefs. I think Mahomes just finds a way to make a play. And then the Monday night game, Rams, Niners. Give me the Niners. Uh, they bounce back. I Niners were my Super Bowl pick. I still think they are going to win the Super Bowl. I don't care that they're winning too. But they got to win this game, and I think they will. The Rams are a team that seem to do bad against physical teams, just to be completely honest with you. And I think you'll see that some tonight. I, I mean, some on Monday night football. I'll go with the Niners here, 23 to 20. So those are my um picks here for um week four. Comment down below. Tell me your picks. I always like hearing from you all. Thanks for watching the video. Hit the thumbs up. Please subscribe to your channel. Greatly appreciate if you do that. McD the Beast signing off.